Okay, I'm going to do a little experiment with some ferrofluid. Um, what you're seeing right now is a um, 2 inch by 2 inch by 1 and a half inch neodymium magnet. It is quite a powerful beast, so I like to keep it away from all my computer equipment. Um, so I have a little tray here with some uh, very messy ferrofluid that I'm going to bring close to the magnet. Right now I'm above the magnet and nothing is happening. I'm going to bring it down very slowly and as we get to a certain point you will start to see, there we go, the ferrofluid reacting to the magnet. The closer I get to the magnet, the more uh, pointy things show up. That is showing the magnetic field in a way that you don't normally see with iron filings. This is very very fun and very interesting. You see as I move away there are less pointy things and as I move closer they start to form. They just appear as I get closer. They appear on the edge and they displace the other ones. This is really fun. As I get closer to the magnet I'm starting to feel the force of the magnet. It wants to pull the tray down to the magnet. I don't want to do that because it is going to make a mess. There we go. Vortex form, vortex disappear. Vortex form, vortex disappear. It's like magic. That's why they call them magnets. They're magic nets. They are nets for magical force that you cannot see. I can't feel it. It's there. It penetrates everything, including this plastic container that is holding the ferrofluid. It goes right through and the ferrofluid responds to the magnet. So fun. Whee! It looks very much like sunflower pattern. Um, patterns that nature makes. This is what nature is doing, I believe. Everything is a magnet. 